HBCU game day right here at the Albany State University Coliseum. It was supposed to be a showdown of the SIAC East, but it was more like a beatdown as the Albany State defense clamped down on the Tigers. In the first half, the Tigers had less than 100 yards offense, and I'm sure the second half is pretty much the same. A great day for the Albany State defense. And on the offensive side, Deontay Banu found his receivers wide open down the field and made short order of the Savannah State Tigers. It really was not much of a game. The, the, the score is actually closer than it felt like out here. And as for special teams, Gabriel Bayinas, which he told me was the correct pronunciation of his name, had three field goals as well as did a great job punting, keeping Savannah State out of striking distance. Well, I, you know, he just came out of the gates roaring, you know what I'm saying? They almost tore the doggone door off the dang locker room. So I'm just happy they finally blew the whistle and let us get after it. Well, I think defensively, you know, we just really snuffed them out all game long. You know, it's amazing how motivated you can be when you get the donuts every week for the donut. You know, five weeks, Vaughn, we've been eating donuts on Monday. I need a donation from Krispy Kreme or something. But look, offensively, Deontay really played good. We just challenged him. Hey, read the defense, man. They're going to give it to you if you'll read the defense. And, man, he really made some great throws, and those wideouts made some big plays. That was huge in the first half just to get points every drive and get him going. You know, we know he's a weapon. He just hadn't had that many opportunities. And that kickoff coverage team was like running down the field with their dreads on fire. So it was just really, a, you know, a combination of, hey, let's score and let's go knock them back inside the 15. Well, it, you know, we're trying to play 18 to 20 guys over there just to keep them fresh, rotating. Guys don't get tired. And man, they love playing for each other. You know, we had Antonio Leroy, our middle linebacker, go down with a big injury. And you know what? You got one or two choices. You either feel bad for yourself or you play inspired. And our guys really play inspired. They answered the call at every turn today. <laughs> step towards where we want to be. Up next for the Golden Rams, they travel to Atlanta to take on the Morehouse Tigers in their trek to win the SIAC championship.